All right, thanks so much, Dan. Well, the use of CPR dates all the way back to the 1740s, and yet even today, most Americans don't know how to perform it. Yeah, if done properly, CPR can actually save lives. So today, we're going to learn the basics from our training specialist, Matt Reeves, is here. Matt, good Hi. morning. Good morning. Looks like if we had a basketball team, I'd be the shooting guard. You guys would both be centers or forwards. Yeah, we're a little Pretty taller. Close. A little, you guys are tall. A little I'm shorter like the there. short guy over here. What the it, heck? It's like a Sears catalog model shoot, <laughs> and one model doesn't belong. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Right, Matt? One of these things, <laughs> who's not your, like the other. Who's your friend, by the way? Um, this is Annie. Annie, okay. Yeah, they're all Annie. Okay, all well, of them. Okay, why yep. is that? Just, um, it's a long story. Okay. But basically, it's in honor of someone who was not saved a long time ago. Right. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I didn't know that. I think I knew that, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, CPR now, just mm -hmm. give us some basics. What are some things we should look out for initially? And we're here, you're here because it's American Red Cross Month. It is American right. Red yeah. Cross Month. Thanks for having me. Sure. Um, a couple things definitely is CPR is, of course, the care we're going to give someone who is showing no signs of breathing and no signs of circulation. Okay. So, the most common symptom of this is unconsciousness. Okay. So when you walk in and someone appears to be unconscious, the very first thing you need to always do is check to make sure that it's safe for you to be in there. You, we don't want to rush into unsafe scenes, particularly become a victim ourselves. Okay. So okay. after we've checked the scene, make sure it's safe for us to be in there, we want to check our victim. Make sure they truly are unconscious. Hopefully we're just mistaken, right? Right. So yeah. you come up to them, you tap on them, you shake them, hey, wake up, are you okay? If you're not getting any sort of response, this is a medical emergency, you need help right now. So send somebody, hey, please go call 911 for me. This person's unconscious. Okay. Right off the bat, before you do anything else, get that help on the way. Okay. After that, we're going to check to see if we can find any signs of breathing, right. any signs of circulation. So put one hand on the forehead, couple fingers on the victim's chin, and tilt the head back. You don't need to yank it, but you do want to go about as far back as you can smoothly. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, this is going to open the, uh, the, the air passage, Absolutely. Right. right. What you're going to do is move the tongue out of the way and hopefully open up their airway for you. Okay. Then you're going to put your ear right next to their mouth and nose while you're watching their body for any signs of breathing, any signs of circulation, you know, movement, jitters, anything. Now, I've never had to uh, uh, try this myself, thank That's God. That's a good thing. Yes. yes, it is. But if you're in that situation, there's a lot going on around you. Mm -hmm. Can you can you effectively assess the situation? Or, I mean, can you, is there a case where you can, you can just jump in and maybe the person doesn't need CPR? That's always the hope. Okay. Um, Generally, when someone's down like this, it is a heart attack, but okay. it's not always the case. Okay. And that's one of the main reasons why we always want to make sure that we try to slow things down a little bit and go through that, make an airway, check for breathing, watch the signs of circulation, because hopefully it's not. Okay. okay. Well, very good, Matt. And what we're going to do, we're going to come back in about uh, 15 or 20 minutes Absolutely. or so, and we're going to continue to show the rest of what you do. After you yep. tilt the head back, you've got the uh, passway, passageway open for the air to get in there, and we'll talk about uh, doing the chest pumps and everything. Is yep. that correct? Perfect. Yeah, we'll do all that with uh, Matt from the American Red Cross. So stick around with that. Thanks for being here. Okay, Thanks. it's 631 right now. We'll space history at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, pretty cool. Still ahead this morning, we're going to tell you about the discovery of some valuable NASA artifacts. That's coming up after the break.